Hey everybody, gonna do the upper yard video now. So get, walk you up there. Show you the we got the sprinkler going, overhead sprinkler, one of them turned on, and I'm gonna have to dodge that trying to walk around. Runners are all coming out for the strawberries. Gojis have already got a lot more fruit set on here. You can see these are all gonna turn into little gojis. There's some flowers just as I slide down the trail. <laughs> Yeah, the bees are starting to come and do their, their work pollinating, which is good. Yeah, I know little birds, I'm interrupting you. Sunflowers have gotten bigger. You can see they're uh, really taking off. Can't wait until these things pop out their flower heads. It's gonna be a really nice focal point back here up on the hill looking from our deck over there where we sit in the evenings. See, I put the tree guards on the rest of the trees up here. I'm trying to dodge the sprinkler here while I while I babble. Apple's doing nice. You can see the uh, the tomatoes are turning. There's more of them ready to, to harvest. I picked a few of those when I was doing my work this, yesterday out here in the yard. Added the tree guard around the little fig tree there. I'm wondering if we're going to actually get a fig off that one this year because, yes, last year... That's a two-year-old fig I put in here. And the two-year-olds at the nursery when I was there, they had some figs hanging off, so hopefully we'll get some of those. I don't know if I dare walking over there to the garden. I'll just give you a shot here. You can see the nasturtium is coming up in the, uh, the garden box here. Sunflowers are over the tops of the cages now. I'm gonna have to back down the hill here. I'm gonna put the guards around the peach trees. Currants are doing well. And they look like they're really starting to take off in here. Really nice and green. Even these little guys. Yeah, Paula was showing her family around up here and they were walking all the trails and they thought it was just like a little nature preserve up here. You can see the squash. I mean, we've got tons of squash we haven't even got to yet. And it's perfect size for doing zoodles. And there's some zucchini in there that are, you know, hanging off. And the nasturtium there, of course. Everything's looking really nice. Those apples just look great. And look at those. Those Granny Smith. Can't wait to eat some of those. Have to make sure and get them before the squirrels try to get in the yard. And you can see the uh, Scarlet Runner beans are over the tops now and hanging. This is what I, the kind of look I was going for. Is I wanted to have them come over and then hang and then flower so they'll uh, seeds and not seeds the bean pods will just be kind of hanging here for you to harvest along with a wall of flowers which will look really cool I think you know I really like to have the, the whole aspect of nature hiding the I guess functionality of society because like you know I have this big long fence here as you can see and it's really kind of ugly I mean sit and look at but when you have you know a flower wall along with food production it looks really nice and the hummingbirds in you see there's a little little bumblebee up there resting probably got his fill of the pollen on the uh, scarlet runner beans tomatoes look really healthy up here this year too I think you know a lot of it has to do with having all these beans in production right here dropping that nitrogen off their nodules you know being the companion plant for these tomatoes because I don't think I've ever had the tomatoes look this healthy up here in these garden boxes. It looks like this one's gotten so big it's uh, kind of tipping back to the fence. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm going to have to stake these today. Very happy, very, very happy. There's our other fig. He's not as tall, he's a little bit more bushy. I think it's supposed to be a bushier fig, so we'll see how that one turns out. There's another shot of the uh, sunflowers in the garden from the backside as we dodge the, the water works. <laughs> I'll show you these uh, cucumbers here down along the fence because they're really putting out some flowers. So, 
this comfrey out of the way here. Like the cucumbers are trying to grab onto them. As you can see, there's a ton of flowers coming on all these down along the rows, especially the ones down there. They seem to be getting enough water now. There's the beans coming up. There's a bunch here. So these will be you know, feeding us some nice uh, Monte Cristo beans. Looks like the slugs may have got into these. That's okay. I figure I'm not going to worry too much about that. You can see the vetch. That'll be coming up and growing in there. At least the slugs don't try to eat the vetch. So we'll have some nice color along this fence wall here as the uh, cucumbers start to bloom and set fruit. So there you go. There's one there. Pretty good size one here. Grow little guys, grow. I love my cucumbers. And we love our pickles. <laughs> I guess right here is a wrap up on the, uh, the lower yard. We'll show the, uh, the squash. The tomato vine popping up through here for a little cameo. But, uh, they're starting to turn. They're no longer the, uh, the light green. They're starting to get that yellow, yellow tint. So that's nice to see. They seem to be doing pretty well. I had to add some fertilizer over here because I think it was getting a little deficient. You can see there's a little bit of yellowing on the, the leaf tips. So I added some organic fertilizer down in there. Thought about coming through and spraying it with a little bit of my organic uh, foliar feed. Give that to it. All right. Well, this has been Brian from P&B Homesteading. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys again. Bye. Bye.